Let's talk about how to develop extreme ownership with Cody Jefferson. What is up, Underdog fam? My name is Zachary Babcock. I'm the host of the Underdog Empowerment Podcast, and I'm here to help you rise up, break free, and dominate life. And if you want the best tips on how to win as an underdog entrepreneur, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications. That way, you don't miss anything, and we are getting started right now. We put them hours in to bring them dollars in. My name is Zachary Bell. Motivation, that's cool and all. You know, it's great when you have it. Yeah. But, but it's like a roller coaster, man. That shit comes and goes, you know. Absolutely. It's here one day and it's gone the next. How do you deal with that failure? How do you develop these habits that are going to keep you consistently moving forward towards your goal? Yeah, so extreme ownership. Dude, yeah. every fucking yeah. thing in my life is my fault. Everything, right? If I'm unhealthy, that's my fault. My marriage falls apart, that's my fault. If my kids are acting a fool, my fault. My business fails, my fault. Everything is, my, now if it succeeds, my fault, right? My kids end up being, you know, just ballers in life, my fault, right? Like, so there's this extreme ownership to say, and it, it's a little much for some, but to say, like literally, you are in control of your life. You create every situation and circumstance based on your perception of reality and the action you take, right? There's an event, there's a response, and there's an outcome. This is out of uh, Jack Canfield's Success Principles, which I, if there's one book all of your listeners need to read, it is The Success Principles by Jack Canfield. It will absolutely change your life. My buddy Sterling Griffin recommended it to me, and uh, it's just a game changer. But he says you've got an event, You've got a response and you've got an outcome. You want to change the outcomes in your life. You can't always change the events. Events are going to happen. But what you can always have control over is your response. So I have found that powerful daily habits allow me to stay in control of my responses the majority of the time. So when I fail, well, what is, uh, what is a failure? Well, it's something just didn't work the way that I thought it would. And so my response now has to be either attack, right, blame, shift, right? Scapegoat or to own. Okay. This didn't work. I'm not going to get romantic about it. This ad fell to a dead audience. It's not converting. Uh, this way that I was speaking to my wife, that, that was not the right way to handle it. The way that I presented to this organization fell flat. So my pitch was wrong, right? It's my fault. So how can I objectively look at this pivot, make some decisions. How can I change some habits in terms of how I'm approaching this? So for me, how I stay in control, it's, it's all about my daily habits to ensure that I'm showing up in control of my day and running my day and running my business so that my business and my day don't run me. So check it out, man. Before I took extreme ownership in my life, I was always on drugs, in prison, spent over half a decade of my life in prison, missed out on the birth of my twin sons. Like literally, I was always blaming shit on everything except for myself and anybody else except for myself. However, when I was able to take extreme ownership for everything wrong in my life, that was the moment that I was also able to take ownership for everything right in my life. And it's so powerful, so, so powerful. And when you do that, you're no longer saying, like, I can't do this because the weather is, it's raining outside, or I can't do this because my boss is a dick, or whatever. You know, that's placing control outside of yourself. You're saying that you can't do something that you want in your life because of somebody else. Now, granted, of course, you can't fucking control the weather, obviously. That's duh. So why even waste time even concerning yourself with something that you have no control over? really ultra successful people only focus on the things that they can directly control themselves. They don't let circumstance control them. They create their circumstances because they focus on the things on how they can immediately influence their circumstance. So focus on what you can do to every situation, how you can respond to situations that you can't control. Like focus on the things that you can control yourself. I'm getting a little intense there because this is fucking real shit. All right. Um, if you want my 33 branding and positioning tactics, you can get it in the description below. These are the same exact branding and position tactics I use across all of my social media platforms that I've used to get from prison to the promised land. And you can check that out in the description below. If you also wanna get some more videos that are just going to 
help you pull that fucking like that grit out of out of you like literally help you transform your life and take complete ownership of your life so that you could start dominating in your space in your personal and business life make sure you check out this playlist right there and if you want to check out the full interview with me and Cody Jefferson make sure you check it out on underdogempowerment.com iTunes Google Play or Stitcher I will have all four of those links in the description below as well and if you haven't already subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for hit the subscribe button and tap the bell notifications that way you don't miss anything and i will see you on the next video we put them hours in to bring them dollars in it is that underdog empowerment we put them hours in to bring them dollars in my name is zachary Barry.